On Google, it says the practice of giving flowers is a societal way to express love, compassion, and thoughtfulness. But when 50 Cent sent roses over to Cameron, I think the sentiment was a little different. You see, in 2007, 50 Cent was on Hot 97 with Angie Martinez. This was a classic night on Angie's show because 50 was taking calls from fans and answering all types of questions. But one person who ended up calling up was Styles P. At this time, 50 was in the middle of his back and forth with the locks. And on a song called I Run New York, 50 flexed how much power he had in the industry when he said, One more word out his mouth, I push Styles shit back. And when Styles P album actually got pushed back, Styles wanted to address 50 directly on the air. Like, like, if you, if, if you did stop my record, which you say you did, like, if you ain't like me, like me from the streets, you can't not like me. And I can't I ain't really stop not your like record. you because I don't know you and you I ain't don't stop know your me. record. Listen, I, I don't, I don't dislike you, you enough. You even got on. I don't dislike anybody enough to stop them from eating, period. I don't know if you got kids. I don't know how you feed them. All right, that's cool. I don't know what you dislike. I, I wouldn't do that. This conversation actually ended up going great. Better than anyone ever expected it to go. And by the end of this call, Styles and 50 would agree to set up a meeting to help Styles get a better deal. But it was something that 50 said on this call that would turn the night from a positive one to straight insanity. The question, how do you know, like, how do you know that 50 pushed you back and not feel a way about I that? I can stop a record from going out of Koch. If you don't know, Koch Records was an independent label that operated on a much smaller scale than the major labels at the time. And one person who had deals with Koch took offense to what 50 was saying, and that person was Cameron. Not long after 50's call with Style, he would be receiving another call from Cameron to address those very comments. And that's when everything went left. I, was, I just want to step in because I heard you can shut things down over here and I just want to make sure what's going on. You know, they owe me some things over here. I just want to see what's going on. You can shut down diplomat projects. I'm not talking I, about diplomats. Is it, can, huh? if you really want that? How much money bank so? Well, Lloyd Banks is at 300000 And he's doing amazing. Jimmy's at 300000 Right, right. And that's and great for Jimmy, but Jimmy's not... Let's look. That's great for Jimmy. Like, every time I talk about bowling, you know what, Cam? If you want to do... Lloyd yeah. Banks is on yelling. But Lloyd Banks has more money than Jim Jones, and when you want to talk on that level. See, he's giving, you're getting ready to turn it into something else. Yo, Curtis, how much did Mob do so this year? You're not going to be... you can ready to cause a whole different situation. Watch this. How much let's not let's not make it a different situation. He thinks that it's good. He thinks that it's good to go in the competition. I'm not gonna stop competing. How much did the mouth sell, Curtis? Curtis became an instant classic. It was everywhere, and 50 did not take too kindly to becoming the butt of all the internet jokes. So he set his sights on camp and got straight to work. A couple of days later. Cameron would be met by two bodyguards at his office, and they were there to deliver Cameron a bouquet of black roses from none other than 50 Cent. This gesture was accompanied by this song and a video called Funeral Music, which 50 would release on the same day. He sent, I actually had two like big bodyguard dudes deliver black roses to my office <laughs> like so i was laughing i'm like oh this dude is entertaining this would go on to start one of the most classic hip-hop beats of all time probably one of the funniest and this was the beginning age of the internet being incorporated so we got a lot of good content from this but let me know what y'all think i love this battle i might have to do a whole video discussing the whole damn timeline but y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments shout out to all the yo yas on the east side it's your boy kd make sure you like the video subscribe to the channel i'm out of here